This adventurous story begins with two boys named Sam and Will, who are entering a recently opened arcade game shop in their town. Sam and Will loved playing games, especially the old arcade games that are now completely obsolete. Among the two, Sam was a very skilled gamer with exceptional gaming abilities. Whatever arcade game Sam played, he would complete all the levels in no time because he played each game with a specific pattern. He would first look at all the possibilities of the game to figure out how to win and then apply all the possibilities together with full focus. Sam's excellent gaming skills attracted the attention of all the kids present there because he played so well that he could complete even the most difficult levels. Sam became very famous among all the kids at the arcade game shop. This made Sam very happy. But then, through a boy, Sam learned about a huge tournament happening among arcade gamers worldwide. Sam was thrilled by this news, thinking this could be his chance to showcase his gaming skills and make a name for himself in the world of gaming. Sam, along with his friend Will, went to participate in that gaming competition which was to be held among all the arcade gamers. Many arcade gamers had come there playing various kinds of games, and they were all very good players. Sam started feeling a bit nervous, but his friend Will reassured him, saying, You are the best and I am confident that you will become the world champion. This boosted Sam's confidence a little, and he began to look around with Will. That's when they saw a small boy named Loft, who was playing very well, but didn't have any teammates and was feeling quite sad. Noticing all these things, Sam told Loft that he was including him in his team, meaning that the three of them would stay as teammates throughout the tournament. Loft then tells Sam and Will about Lisa, whom he had loved since childhood. But Lisa doesn't pay much attention to him. In that entire tournament, a short man named Eddie also arrives. Eddie was a huge fan of arcade games and had come to participate in the gaming competition. Eddie's gaming skills were almost on par with Sam's, but the only difference was that Eddie had a lot of attitude and ego, considering himself the best and looking down on everyone else. The organizer of the tournament announced in front of everyone that this game was not going to be easy. All participants would have to clear different levels of the game and keep progressing upward, and finally, there would be a final fight between two players, and the winner of that would be crowned the world champion. The organizer also mentioned that many scientists from NASA and people from the Guinness Book of World Records were going to be present. If any player succeeded in breaking a record, their name would be written in golden letters. Additionally, all the performance footage of the player who becomes the world champion would be recorded and sent to a spaceship in outer space, so that if anyone received this message, they would know that life still exists on Earth. The organizer was talking about aliens. After explaining all the rules, the game started among everyone. All the players were playing different arcade games, and they just had to win. If anyone lost even once, they would be out of the game. Everyone put in their full effort to win the games, but the arcade games were made so hard that it was not easy to clear the levels quickly. Because of this, many gamers were out in the first round itself. Several rounds went by this way, but in the end, only two players were left, and they were none other than Sam and Eddie. Their gaming skills were perfectly matched, but only one could become the world champion. So now, a match of arcade games was set between Sam and Eddie, the final match. Whoever won this match would become the world champion. As soon as the whistle blew, the match between Sam and Eddie began. Both were performing well, but due to Sam's concentration, he started to pull ahead significantly. When Eddie saw Sam in his game, he began to feel that Sam might win, so Eddie played a trick. He said some things to Sam that distracted him, causing Sam to lose complete control over his game. Eddie took advantage of this opportunity and quickly completed his games. Sam lost the game because of the disturbance created by Eddie, and now everyone was happy for Eddie because he had become the world champion. Eddie, too, started dancing happily because he was now the best arcade player of the year. On the other hand, Sam was very upset, wondering how he could lose after training so hard for the gaming championship. But then, Sam's friend Will came over to comfort him, saying, I know you are the best. Even if not this time, I am sure you will become the world champion in the future. Sam felt very happy hearing this from Will. Now, we see a time many years later where Will and Sam have grown up. Will, through his hard work, had become the president while Sam, who was much more talented and had excellent gaming skills, was working as a mechanic in a company. Despite the huge gap between their professions, their friendship remained strong. 
Will, even as president, would find time to visit Sam. However, it was mentioned that even though Will was president, nobody liked him. Everyone would go against his decisions and did not consider him their leader. This made Will very troubled, and he didn't know what to do. But Sam reassured Will, saying that everything would be all right and not to worry. Sam was now disheartened with his life because he once wanted to become a great arcade gamer. But as he grew older, he realized the realities of life. To support his family, he had given up gaming and taken up this job. Now, as night falls, we see a strange light in the sky. This light was not from anything else but a spaceship that looked like tiny pixels. As the spaceship approached, it converted into multiple parts and started moving around. Whatever these pixelated parts of the spaceship touched began to break down into pixels, meaning this was not a normal spaceship but one with advanced technology, leaving nothing alive in its path. Some soldiers tried to attack it, but the pixelated spaceship retaliated against one soldier and converted his weapon into pixels with its energy. It even converted the attacking soldier's body into pixels and then absorbed him into the spaceship. Sam had returned to his normal life and had taken up his job as an electrician. He went to a child's house to install some things, a job that was specifically assigned to him to complete as soon as possible. As soon as Sam entered the house, the child mentioned that his father and mother had broken up because his father had left his mother for a 20-year-old girl. The child was very angry about this. Soon, the child's mother, who was very beautiful, arrived. Sam instantly liked her and wondered who could leave such a beautiful lady. Sam quickly installed everything he was called for, but then he went to the child's mother to get her signature on the papers. At that moment, the child's mother was very sad and crying because she had been fighting with her husband and they were about to get a divorce. Seeing this, Sam felt very bad and tried to comfort her. He tried to get closer to her to make her feel better, but the child's mother, named Violet, pulled away from him. Violet became very angry and questioned why he was imagining a future with her since he was just an electrician. And does odd jobs, Sam retorted. If I were a rich man, you'd probably accept me. So, if you look at it this way, you're wrong. Just then, Sam received a call from President Will, urgently summoning him to the White House. Sam immediately set out to meet him. As he got into his car, he noticed that Violet was following him. Sam worried that Violet might be planning to punish him for something, but then he realized that Violet had also been called to the White House. It turned out that Violet was one of the top members of the politics department, which explained her attitude and why she wouldn't tolerate Sam hanging around her. Sam quickly went inside to meet his friend Will, who was now the president. Will showed Sam a video footage from the previous night, revealing small aliens that looked like tiny pixels attacking a military base, causing everyone to disappear. Many soldiers were killed, leaving no trace behind. Will was extremely troubled by this. He had summoned all the head members for a discussion, and since he had the authority, he included his dear friend Sam among these important people. The head members were furious to see Sam in the meeting, questioning how a regular worker could be part of such an important discussion. However, Will had fully allowed Sam to share his personal view. Violet was also there, laughing at Sam's presence. No one believed that Sam knew anything and assumed he was there just to pass time. But after analyzing the video, Sam pointed out something crucial. He explained that the patterns seen in the alien attacks on the military base were not new but were actually very old arcade game patterns he had played years ago. Maybe for some reason, these characters have come to life, Sam said with complete confidence. He was able to say this because, in the video, the entire alien spaceship and those attacking the military base had pixelated body structures. These pixels resembled those in old arcade games. However, many members present were mocking Sam and did not agree with him. An old member, becoming angry, said, Important matters are being discussed here, and our military's lives are at risk. You're talking about useless arcade games. This makes no sense and you've made a very wrong observation. If the entire committee finds out that we're looking for solutions but instead talking about games, we'll be extremely discredited. Sam became very nervous due to the constant talking of these big personalities, which even made Will start to think that perhaps he had made a mistake in understanding these things and that Sam's observation was incorrect. Sam became quite disheartened by all this and got into his truck to go back home. 
As he was heading to his truck, he saw his old friend Loft there. Sam was so shocked that he punched Loft, causing him to fall back. Loft had been waiting inside the truck for quite a while because he had something very important to discuss. He took Sam to his house immediately. There, Loft told Sam that he had seen the same video footage from the previous night when some unknown entities had attacked the military base. He had been investigating these things and had gathered quite a bit of information. Loft told Sam that the way these aliens were attacking was exactly the same as in the arcade games they used to play many years ago. Sam felt a little better because he had already figured this out. But then, Will shared some extra information many years ago, during a tournament that Sam had participated in, NASA had made video footage of all the games being played and sent them far away on their spacecraft. As far as he knew, all those video footages of the arcade games had been sent somewhere far away. They must have encountered some alien species because Loft had detected multiple disturbances in his system that were coming from space. These signals were not man-made. They were being transmitted continuously. NASA had sent the entire video footage of the games into space so that any advanced living organisms could understand that we exist on Earth. But it seems that the aliens misunderstood this information. By watching the arcade games, they believed that we were planning to attack them, and they would soon be killed. Angered by this, the aliens started attacking us in the same way as the arcade games we had sent them, and this was the attack that happened at the military base last night. Sam believed Loft because he had pointed this out from the beginning. To prevent the situation from getting worse, Loft and Sam went directly to Will. They told him everything about this. Loft and Sam kept telling Will that these aliens were planning to attack Earth by sending pixels. If these pixels touched any human or object, they would completely convert into pixels. They needed to find a solution quickly. But Will was skeptical, thinking who would believe such a story. The video footage looked like something a 10-year-old could have edited because they had no proper evidence. Therefore, the public wouldn't believe Sam and Loft's story. Sam and Loft kept insisting that if they didn't stop them, the attacks would increase and many things on Earth would disappear. And indeed, shortly after, those same pixels or aliens emerged from the sky and went directly to the Taj Mahal in India. They started destroying that beautiful building. The people present there were shocked to see this and became eyewitnesses to the attack. The pixelated aliens not only destroyed the building but also converted many people into pixels and took them away. After this news spread, we'll realize that Sam and Loft were right, that these were indeed aliens who had attacked us, and we needed a technique to defend ourselves. For the time being, Will took Sam and Loft to an examination laboratory. There, it was discovered that Violet also worked at the lab and was leading the entire project. Sam and Loft were brought in because they had the most information about the situation and could definitely assist in the mission. In the lab, a piece of one of the pixels was being studied. Violet and her team were researching how to destroy it. They had managed to find a solution in a relatively short time. Violet's team had developed a power gun that emitted multiple high-density rays, which could destroy the pixels. This provided at least one way to gradually eliminate the pixels. However, Sam and Loft knew that this task wouldn't be easy. Will then took everyone to another location, a large military base camp. The camp was populated with many soldiers, and their colonel was preparing them for battle, as they had learned that the pixelated aliens were planning to attack again. The soldiers were ready with their guns to fight off the aliens. But Will and Sam explained that fighting the aliens with conventional bullets wouldn't be effective. The high-density rays were necessary to actually destroy the pixels. The soldiers were very frustrated with this suggestion. But Sam took charge and began to implement the plan. Sam began training the soldiers, but not with traditional combat techniques. Instead, he was teaching them how to play arcade games because the situation was similar to arcade game patterns. Several arcade machines were set up, allowing each soldier to improve their gaming skills. Sam instructed them to focus on patterns and attack in the right spots to destroy the pixels effectively. However, some soldiers were skeptical and questioned why Sam was giving orders. They were reluctant to follow his advice. Soon, the soldiers arrived at a large garden where the pixelated aliens were expected to attack. They cleared the garden of people, claiming it was due to an upcoming shooting exercise. Before long, the pixelated aliens began emerging from the sky and their numbers had significantly increased. 
The soldiers fired at them with their weapons, but none followed the technique Sam had described. Instead, they were shooting randomly without noting the patterns, which only caused the pixels to grow larger. Sam repeatedly shouted at them to target the heads of the pixels to destroy them completely. The soldiers continued attacking the pixel bodies, causing them to grow even bigger. If this continued, the entire area would be filled with pixels, leading to widespread destruction. Seeing the ineffective attempts of the soldiers, Sam took up the gun himself and began to effectively take down the aliens. His extensive experience with arcade games gave him an edge, and he knew exactly how to handle the situation. Loft, who was also a skilled gamer, joined Sam in the fight. Their precise and perfect aim was astonishing to everyone as they managed to eliminate all the pixels in one go. Their gaming skills were on full display, and they were able to handle the invasion effectively. Sam and Loft had successfully eliminated all the attacking pixelated aliens using their gaming skills. It was clear that they had won the battle, but the aliens, eager for more, issued one final challenge. Sam explained that in arcade games, players typically had three chances to win, and if an opponent won three times, they secured an ultimate victory. The aliens had already defeated them twice, leaving only one final chance for humanity. If the aliens won this last round, they would take control of the entire Earth. To tackle this, Violet, Will, Loft, and the others gathered to devise a solution. They realized they needed the greatest arcade gamer ever, which pointed to Eddie, a now infamous criminal. Eddie had won the World Championship in arcade games years ago. Violet, Will, and the team went to prison to meet Eddie and explain the alien invasion and their urgent need for his expertise. Eddie, however, was as arrogant and egotistical as ever. He demanded a series of conditions to assist them. Freedom from jail, exemption from taxes, a private jet, and a dinner with a beautiful actress. Will was initially unable to meet these demands but eventually had to concede due to the high stakes. Earth's survival was on the line. He agreed to fulfill Eddie's conditions, and Eddie consented to help. With Eddie on board, the military and Sam learned that the next attack would be led by a pixelated alien resembling Pac-Man. The Pac-Man that everyone used to play in arcade games was now causing havoc in the city, and it needed to be defeated three times. Sam, Eddie, Loft, and the military prepared for the battle. Instead of standard guns, the military officers were equipped with laser guns designed to destroy the pixelated aliens. Violet had even designed a special car for the soldiers, outfitted with these guns to help them take down Pac-Man. The creator of Pac-Man was also brought in, hoping that his familiarity with the game might help them. However, as soon as he approached Pac-Man, it attacked him, biting off his hand and converting him into pixels. Panicked, the creator fled, leaving Pac-Man to continue its rampage. Anyone Pac-Man touched was turned into pixels and disappeared. Eddie, who was an expert at arcade games, tried to take down Pac-Man. He managed to inflict damage on it from behind and successfully destroyed it twice. Now, with only one chance remaining, Eddie aimed to finish off Pac-Man for good. However, when Eddie attempted to attack Pac-Man for the final time, Pac-Man suddenly changed direction, causing Eddie's car to crash into a water body. Eddie was eliminated from the game. The responsibility now fell on Sam, who had similar skills to Eddie but with a slightly lower level of expertise. Pac-Man had become highly hybridized and was adept at counterattacking. Sam had a brief 10-second window during which Pac-Man could potentially be defeated. As the situation grew tense, Sam quickly maneuvered his car backward, ready to implement his plan. Pac-Man had been defeated when Sam cleverly maneuvered his car onto another building, causing Pac-Man to fall and be destroyed. With Pac-Man gone, it seemed that the alien threat was over since this was supposed to be the final match. The team celebrated their victory, and Sam was hailed as a hero. In the joy of the moment, Will organized a grand party, and Eddie was released as per his conditions, including a dinner date with a beautiful actress, arranged with the money Will had provided. As the festivities continued, a strange signal appeared on the screens. The signals turned out to be messages from the aliens, who had now assumed human forms and were communicating with them. One alien declared that they had won the match through cheating. According to the aliens, the cheating had caused them to lose the game, and as a consequence, they would now take over Earth and destroy it. 
They gave humanity only one day to prepare. The sudden announcement caused chaos. No one understood what cheating the aliens were referring to or who had committed it. Will and the others were furious with Sam, blaming him for the cheating and the impending alien invasion. Sam was confused and had no idea what had gone wrong. However, Violet's son discovered the source of the problem. Eddie's glasses, which had cheat codes written on them. Eddie had been using these cheat codes to win the games, including the fight against Pac-Man. It was revealed that Eddie had won all his championships using these cheat codes, exploiting the game's weaknesses rather than relying on skill. The aliens, enraged by Eddie's cheating, were now ready to enact their revenge. The revelation that Eddie's dishonesty had led to this crisis fueled the group's frustration and fear, and they had to figure out a way to stop the impending alien invasion. In the midst of the chaos, a spaceship from the Pixels arrived, and as a reward, the aliens took Violet's daughter. The next day, the aliens sent out a multitude of characters from various arcade games to wreak havoc. These characters, previously only seen in games, were now causing destruction in the real world. Sam, Loft, and Violet quickly mobilized to fight the invading characters. During the fight, Loft spotted a character he had always admired, Lady Lisa, a warrior from the game who had now become real. Loft, having had a deep affection for Lady Lisa, struggled with the idea of fighting her. Instead, he confessed his feelings to her. Lady Lisa, recognizing Loft as the one who had always loved her, dropped her weapon and joined forces with him, refusing to fight against her admirer. Meanwhile, the aliens broadcasted a new challenge. Humans would get one final chance. If they succeeded, the aliens would spare humanity. However, to participate, the best players had to come aboard their spaceship. Sam, Loft, and Violet decided to take up the challenge and board the spaceship. Upon teleporting inside the spaceship, they discovered that the game was based on King Kong, a game in which Sam had been a champion. However, Sam had lost to Eddie in a previous championship involving this game, causing him to doubt his skills. Despite his insecurities, Sam knew he had to win for the sake of humanity. The kidnapped humans, including Violet's son, were held at the top of a tower, and King Kong was trying to throw them off. If they fell, they would be eliminated from the game. Sam, Violet, and their team climbed upward, battling against King Kong's attacks. Sam, familiar with the game mechanics, used his knowledge to navigate through the challenges, determined to save the hostages and win the final game. Sam, motivated by the revelation that Eddie had been cheating all along, pushed forward with renewed determination. Despite his previous loss in the King Kong game, Sam was now driven by the knowledge that he was the true champion. With this newfound confidence, Sam rapidly advanced through the final level of King Kong. Armed with a hammer, Sam skillfully navigated through King Kong's obstacles and hurled the hammer at the giant ape. The hammer struck King Kong, defeating him and completing the game. With this victory, Sam and his team won the final challenge. According to the agreement, the aliens were bound to leave Earth. The pixelated characters sent by the aliens were recalled to the spaceship, and the alien invasion came to an end. Although Loft and Lady Lisa had fought valiantly, Lady Lisa had to return to her pixelated form. Loft was deeply saddened by her departure, but the characters on Earth were now safe. The aliens, having fulfilled their part of the agreement, left Earth for good. In celebration of their victory, Will organized a grand function to honor Sam and his friends. The event was filled with gratitude and admiration for their heroic efforts. Among the guests was a small alien character who had noticed Loft's sorrow over Lady Lisa's departure. The small alien transformed into Lady Lisa, providing Loft with the comfort he needed. The scene ended with Loft and the newly transformed Lady Lisa together, standing on stage with Sam and his friends, marking a happy resolution to their ordeal. And now here Violet accepted Sam and decided to enter into a relationship with him. Eddie also received a message from the two actresses inviting him to dinner in their room, meaning Eddie's dream was coming true. After the aliens left, humanity began to live much better. The story ends with Loft and Lisa getting married and having many cute pixel babies. However, these babies might potentially play a role in the downfall of humanity in the future. We'll find out in the second part.
With that, our story ends here.